Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of the process of photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is essentially the process by which plants produce organic molecules such as glucose by utilizing the sun's energy. So photosynthesis actually happens in two main stages. So the first one is the light dependent phase and that occurs in the grana of the chloroplast. And then there's also the light independent stages and that is sometimes also called the Kelvin cycle and that occurs in the stroma. So in the light dependent stages, we have chlorophyll harnessing the sun's energy and this energy goes into splitting water molecules. So from that splitting, we end up with some oxygen gas, which is just released by the plant as waste. We also get some electrons and hydrogen ions. So in the light dependent stage, chlorophyll is able to harness the sun's energy and that energy goes into the splitting of water molecules. So when those water molecules are split, we generate some oxygen gas, which is released by the plant as waste. And we also get some electrons and hydrogen ions produced. So these electrons and hydrogen ions um, get collected by the energy carrier molecule NADP+, and that then becomes the loaded form NADPH. So as well as the NADPH, we also generate some ATP molecules, and both the ATP and NADPH end up being important in the next stage, the Kelvin cycle. So the Kelvin cycle, like I mentioned before, occurs in the stroma or fluid matrix of the chloroplast. And in this stage, we have our main input, which is carbon dioxide, going through a series of reactions, which are actually driven by the ATP that was generated. And through that series of reactions, we get our molecule that we needed from the process, which is glucose. So that glucose that's generated can then be used by the plant to produce energy through the process of cellular respiration, or it can be stored for later. Now, in that process of the Kelvin cycle, not only are we generating the glucose, which of course is very important, but we also produce some NADP plus again. So it means that those molecules can then cycle back into the light dependent stage and the process can happen again. Great, so I hope you found my summary helpful. Feel free to check out our other videos.